Hey y'all, it's your girl Kwani and welcome back to my channel. So, hi. <laughs> it's been so long, like too, too long. Um, honestly, I don't even know what to say, really. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure by y'all looking at me, y'all can tell that my weight loss is not going good at all um it's like the only thing that i have goals for or a goal for and i've been having a goal for for years and have not been able to achieve that goal is my weight and i don't even know why that is because i'm such a determined person like Anybody that knows me knows that whatever I put my mind to, whatever I really want to do, I do it. It don't matter what nobody say. I'm sorry. I thought I heard my son. I just put him down for a nap. I pray he don't wake up. Please don't let him wake up. But anyway. Um, I don't even remember where I was at. Um, basically, whatever I put my mind to, I achieve it. It don't matter what nobody say. It don't matter what nobody do. Throughout all of high school, I did things. And there were multiple people telling me that I couldn't do things, that I was too big to do this or um, not smart enough to do that or whatever. And I always did them. And not only did I just do them, but I crushed them. Like, I made everybody shut up. So... The fact that this is like the one thing in my life that I'm, or the one of the biggest things in my life that I'm trying to accomplish and have been trying to accomplish for years, and it hasn't happened, it's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Um, I don't even know what to say. I've... I can't believe that I'm really about to say this, um, but I said from the beginning that with, on my channel, I'm going to be honest. And so here it is. I have gained back all the way I lost plus some. And that is completely horrifying. I don't even know what happened. Like, I can't even tell you where went wrong. I went through so many stages of being sad about it, being depressed about it, trying to make excuses for it. But there is no excuse. I gave up. I did. I just, I got frustrated and I stopped trying. I, um, after I had my son, you all seen that I was still trying to lose weight and everything. And I couldn't. Like, I don't I don't even know what to say. I just couldn't. I started, first, I was just trying to eat right and work out. That wasn't working. Then um, I started doing OMAD because for those of you who have been watching me for a while, you know that that was one of the things that helped me lose my first 50 pounds because, you know, as soon as I started doing OMAD, like I was getting major results and I loved it. And I never called it OMAD. I called it OMAD-ish because I'm not one of them types that I just let myself starve until I can have my one meal. I'm, let me eat at least some fruits and vegetables until I can make it to my one meal. You know, that's how I always did it. So I would call it OMAD-ish. And so I started doing that. And I still was like gaining ounces. And I'm like, every time I stepped on a scale, I gained ounces here and ounces there and ounces there. And it was like, eventually those turned to pounds. And I'm like, okay, am I being punked? Like, I seriously feel like I'm being punked because here I am practically starving myself trying to lose this weight because I'm so baffled by what my body is doing and it's still i'm still not losing weight so i'm like maybe it's this birth control because of course after i gave birth um i got on birth control 
And I'm like, maybe it's this birth control. My body is one of the bodies. I see women say all the time, like, my body just don't do well with birth control. Um, da 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 And mine's don't. <laughs> like, I'm one of them women that every birth control I have been on, it hasn't gone well for me. So... I tried to stay away from birth control, but of course I had just had my baby. I'm like, I'm not trying to get pregnant again, no time soon, at least. So I got on birth control. It was the pills. And I have never heard anything bad about the pills as far as like, oh, you can't lose weight or oh, you gain weight or anything like that. Plus, I do know. Hold on, y'all. My husband is calling me. Okay, I'm back, sorry. But um, I don't even remember where I was at. Basically, long story short, because I'm seriously, like I don't even wanna tell this story or tell what happened, what led up to me gaining weight or putting the weight on or whatever, because a lot of people take that and run with it and make it seem like, oh, she trying to make excuses, da 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 da. But, no, I'm not. I'm simply just explaining what made me give up. There's no excuse. I shouldn't have gave up. I, I should have stuck it out and tried harder and tried to figure out what the heck was going on, but I didn't, and that's my fault. But basically, long story short, so I was going crazy. I was crying every night and everything, trying to figure out why am I gaining weight even though like i said it was ounces here and there i was still gaining weight when i was only eating one time a day like it was very baffling to me i caught i literally called my doctor um she made me a lab appointment because she like i mean we just did labs on you and everything was fine because of course i just had my baby so i was constantly back and forth to the hospital you know when you're pregnant you go to the hot you go to to your doctor 24 7 so um she was just like you know i just did labs or ran labs on you and everything was fine but if you not feeling comfortable or if you feel like something's wrong um you can get labs ran again so i'm like yeah i think i'm gonna do that because i honestly felt like something was wrong in my body because i'm like there's no way on god's green earth i can eat one meal and still gain weight and i was just like and I know my meal, <laughs> my one meal that I'm eating, I know it ain't calories like to the point where it will make me gain weight. Like, no, my meals were home cooked meals. Like at that point, I hadn't even ate out or, you know, ate at a restaurant or got fast food. It was home cooked. So it was just, it was really baffling to me. I thought something was seriously wrong with me. So um, I got labs ran and once again, they came back and everything was fine. Um, even my thyroid looked fine, which I've had issues with before. So, um, she did let me know a couple things about, like, my thyroid function looks fine, but she did let me know a couple more things that was going on, but that's for a different day, for a different story, but, um, yeah, everything looked fine, like, she was just kind of like, you know, I told you, like, I, she didn't really know what to say. And I was just, again, I was baffled because I seriously thought once these test results came back that, or lab results came back, that they were going to say something was wrong. You know, I thought I was going to be able to be like, I knew something was wrong because something was off, but it wasn't. Everything was fine. So at this point, I'm like, everything is fine with the inside of my body the outside of my body or, you know, from the outside, I'm working out, I'm eating one time a day, I'm eating fruits and vegetables. I don't know what's going on. And I got tired. I got tired of working out and eating right or eating small amounts and still gaining weight. I feel like, why was I doing this? What am I, why am I putting myself through this? Why am I rejecting myself of all these things that I actually want to eat and telling myself, oh, you need to get up and do this workout 
when I really don't want to, but I'm making myself do it. When all that happens, I get on the scale and I gain weight. Like, it didn't make sense to me, so I stopped. And after I stopped, it got out of control. I was eating what I wanted to eat, when I wanted to eat it. I was never working out. Like, it seriously got out of control to the point where, like I said in the beginning, I then gained all my weight plus I didn't gain some more weight so that's the story <laughs> that's what happened um I take full accountability for it I mean it's just this is this is what I'm working with now and this is what I'm trying to change now um, but I'm going to put my starting weight here. Okay, y'all. So today is April 30th. I just woke up and I'm about to weigh myself. Hey y'all, I'm back with my first weigh-in. Um, it's, <laughs> it's been a week. It is Saturday the 7th, May 7th. Um, and I'm going to do my first weigh-in. We all seen my first weigh-in. It was horrible. Um, but I've been really trying my hardest this week. And... Yeah, let's get into it. I'm just gonna step on the scale. Um, for everybody who has watched me before, y'all all know uh, my scale talks. But, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all that after the weigh-in. Okay. And I'm not dressed properly because I just woke up. So, yeah. Hello. I don't lost over nine pounds, I think. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put the total somewhere on the screen. Um, this week has definitely Goodbye. been hard, like really, really hard. One of the hardest weeks I've ever had trying to like diet and stay on track and everything like that so um i'm actually proud of myself nine pounds or whatever it is i fought for those nine pounds and nine pounds in a week i think is a huge accomplishment i keep getting into these mind frames of like oh man i didn't i gave up and i gained all this weight back plus some and now I'm back to square one and I got to lose all this weight again. But at the end of the day, I got to do it. Like, there's no if, answer, but about it. I gave up. I decided to eat wrong. I decided not to work out. I decided to gain all this weight back. So now I got to suck it up and I got to do something about it. So nine pounds in a week is amazing to me and i am really 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 excited about it um also i did want to tell y'all that i'm probably gonna switch my weigh-in days my weigh-in days is on saturday but i probably will have an extra day this week and make my weigh-in day a sunday because i know people be wanting to like see the scale and everything like that and i can't show y'all the scale plus show y'all me like i can't do all of that so a lot of y'all know before i would have my husband do it 
um, he work a lot. So I know he don't work on Sundays. So that's why I'm switching my weigh-in days for Sundays. So he'll be able to show y'all me. He'll be able to show y'all the scale. And yeah, because I don't think just hearing it is enough. I think y'all should see it. And I know there's a lot of people who be like, I want to see it. And da, da, da. I don't know why. But so that's what I'm going to do. Um, also, at midnight, it is my son's birthday, May 8th. I am so, so, so excited. I'm going to have a two-year-old, y'all. A two-year-old. I I cannot believe I've been a mom for two years. Like, it amazes me. I'm really about to have a two-year-old. But this is my two-year-old. Excuse his hair. I am braiding it for his birthday, um, well, with him, I have to do sections. I already did the back, but I have to do sections because, um, yeah, like, he, <laughs> he messing with my scale, but I have to do sections because he do not want to just sit still and get it all done. He'll be trying to flip out. He likes to get up and run and do extra stuff, so, yeah, tomorrow his birthday. I'm super excited. <laughs> tomorrow your birthday. Tomorrow.